Okay. Okay, guys. Bad news. My main camera got stolen. Not sure if it was Saturday or Friday. But either way, my main camera got stolen. So not only did I lose all my footage from that, I've lost a $600 camera. That actually hurts a lot. So... I'm doing my best with what I have, so the dash and the Eon is probably going to look quite washed out. So right now you can see we've got the white on the dash, kick panel does nothing, because we're in the standard Eon mode and you can see that on the Tesla UI I've got everything turned off. So when we get up to speed and we enable cruise control, it steers, and as per normal if I touch the brake or anything like that, it disables and stops steering. Now what I'm going to do is enable cam, oop not that one, that one, cam. And now, when I cancel, you can see it stays green, and I can use accelerator. That's because now we're steering on the factory system. So, yeah, we're now purely on the factory system. If I edge it to the edge of the line, you'll hear it beep. There you go. Beep, it flashes white to say that we crossed the line. But yeah, this is steering on the factory system. If I enable cruise control again, now I'm steering with Eon, you can tell, because it moved back into the center of the lane like it should. Now if I counter steer it a little bit, and, uh, 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 yeah, there, oh, look at that, it beeps. So again, I'll let open pilot steer, I'll edge towards the middle this time, so I'll move to the middle, move, 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 and there we go. Let go and open pilot pulls us back where we belong, because we're using the camera, and we're using the camera not just for being able to cancel this and run on the factory system which you are now, we're using it for everything including uh, lane departure one. Overtaking lane now here. that we're getting up near overtaking lanes, what I'm going to do is I'll first show you what it is without ALC, um, which is advanced lane change, That's whatever. If I turn on the blinker, I lose all um, assistance from the steering and it comes back on. Now I'll turn on ALC and I'll turn on the blinker and it changes lanes. Oh, it did not change lanes. Now this is why this is doing testing. So let's try that again, change lanes. That's a bit better. Lane change complete, I stopped it because I didn't trust it. Just go the other way. Turn it off, right lane it's left. working fine. Merge left ahead. So that's auto lane change and you actually got to see where it didn't work perfectly as well. So auto lane change works rather well. Uh, basically when auto lane change is active, putting the blinker on makes it change lanes. When auto lane change is not active, putting the blinker on turns off steering. So that way uh, you're not fighting it. Now I've also removed open pilots uh, wish to, so you can see that it fights me quite hard, it no longer cancels steering out when you start trying to turn. Okay, you'll notice that red mad up there. The short answer is that if you turn that on, you're pretty mad. It's not really meant to be used. I'm undecided at this stage whether I'm even going to make the code that makes that work public or whether I'm going to keep that to myself. So you can see straight away when you accelerate, the factory system kicks in above 55 and that means I can accelerate, brake, accelerate, I can do everything that you normally would driving, I'm going to help it because the factory system is garbage, I can do everything that you normally would um, with, uh, with normal driving with it helping. But when I turn MAD on, now what's going to happen is that it's not going to run on the factory system, it's going to run on open pilot. So when I put my foot on the brake, open pilot's still the one steering and it'll steer all the way down till I am come to a stop, accelerate again, and you see I've cancelled cruise control and open pilot's still steering. Open pilot's in full control. And while that's enabled because I got cam enabled, I'm still going to get my lane departure warning. Now, it didn't doesn't kick in straight away, it kicks in after you first enable cruise control. So to enable it, you enable it like you would normally enable open pilot. But in order to kill it, you need to turn cruise off. And now you can see that open pilot's no longer steering. Turn cruise back on and we're in action again. 
It's resume cruise control. No, because I turned off, I couldn't resume. So, yeah, you can see that, that works. Yeah, it works on the cruise being enabled or disabled rather than actually with a set speed. So, like I said, I don't know whether I'm going to keep this public. I want everyone's opinion. Uh, talk to me in Slack. Talk to me on YouTube. I don't mind. But talk to me about your opinion, whether you think I should make this public or whether I think that that's a little bit too mad and I should probably keep it to myself. So the main reason is that when I'm in uh, more windy roads, you need to be on and off the brake quite often. And there's no reason to have it keep disabling because enabling cruise control is actually not a great idea. And having it assist is nice, not required. And uh, like the factory system even does it. So if the factory system does it, clearly there can't be that much of an issue to miss it. The only difference is that I've got it steering down to nothing. So we'll come to a little stop here, uh, 300 metres on right. So the moment I put my blinker on, it's going to say lane change cancelled because I'm not going to, uh, oh, it's right here, stop. See, lane change cancelled, but we're still steering. I'll turn here and Open Pilot's got no idea what to do, but it'll still be steering. Well, it would be if I didn't have the blinker on. There you go. Now Open Pilot's steering. And it doesn't really know where it's going to drive me around a parking, a little, yeah. We'll steer it around here. So at 16 kilometers an hour, and Open Pilot still got control of the steering wheel. Yep, still got control. And I'll bring us down to a total stop. And once we come to a dead stop, it disables torque. There, click. And the moment that I start driving again, it's in again. It's driving again. So it's only when we come to a standstill that it actually disables the torque. And that gives us, and yeah, that gives us a system that's like the factory system, where it's always helping. But at lower speeds, its maximum torque is actually really weak. And this is something to do with the way that um, Kia have programmed the MDPS. The faster you go, the stronger and stronger the steering becomes on its assistance. CNC, auto lane change not available. Now, I did this and you can see that I'm using the brake. I'm using the accelerator cruise control. It's not enabled. Open pilot's still running. I'm going to jab it to get over here. And jab for a diesel means snail pace, but either way, let go. You see, open pilot's still in control. Plane departure warning couldn't see it across the line, which is a little bit average, but that should still be working. Yep, it is still working fine. Naval cruise control, all fine. Now, what we'll do is just to show you how the rest of it works, we'll turn off MAD, and now when I touch the brake, no steering. Turn it on, steering. Simple as that. Now, as shown, the camera's on. If I turn camera off, we lose the green. And the auto lane change, I, I've shown you before, that changes lanes. So if I turn that off, and I put the blinker on, nothing happens. Turn lane change on, and it's cancelled because I'm not going to let it happen. So that's it. And we're steering because MAD's enabled. Hang on. Turn that on. We're steering because, um, yeah, MAD's enabled. So it's not too complicated. And, yeah, it always works, which is kind of the idea behind it. And it's still just as easy to kill. It's just hit the cruise button and steering's killed. It's just hitting the brake button doesn't kill it. So I'll be pushing this public very soon. I'm not getting any errors at all. There is... For some reason, and I haven't found this one yet, if you have cam enabled, and only cam enabled, and you're at a standstill, occasionally it'll throw up a uh, error on the dash about the lane keep assist, the factory lane keep assist. But it's rare. It's maybe, if you're sitting there for two or three minutes, it might pop up once, and then it goes away. I'm that, but it doesn't happen when I'm on the road, so I don't know what's causing that particular error. But having said that, it's it doesn't actually Please affect the operation. The limit ahead. So rather than use the cruise control to slow down, I'm just going to put my foot on the brake. 
slow down and open pilot still steering me. Not the factory system, open pilot. And that's key because you can see that I'm sitting there in the in the lane, in the middle of the lane where I belong. We're steering nicely. Now when we just there's a lot of cars on the road today for where I am. So what I'll do is I'll disable MAD, just like that. MAD's disabled. Turn the factory system on because you saw that it was off and oh it really this is such a crap steerer. So you can see that it's it's just struggling, it struggles on a lot of roads, the factory system. So I gotta help a little bit. Enable MAD again. And like I said, it doesn't immediately enable. The first time you want to enable it, you gotta enable cruise control. And now we can cancel cruise control and the factory system is not the one in control. Open pilot is. So when you first start the motor, it's not going to steer. And I'll show this. I'll show this because it is actually rather important. So I'll pull up. So we come to a stop. We saw it was steering, it stopped. And you see that that still has complained that we went into reverse gear and blah, blah, blah. Because it was still trying to control. Other safety systems have kicked in and stopped us from steering. So what I'm going to do is leave MAD enabled and stop the engine.